<laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? Uh, Crap Gamer here, Pony Leg Breaker Extraordinaire, the albino rhino, the king of all game-related media, and you damn well know it, the most compelling game-related YouTuber, and this is Big Gamer Small Talk with uh, Blazing Phoenix, Mr. Keep It Xbox, after a long hiatus. He's out of hiding, and he's back, um, and he's joining us. Maybe Iron Wolf will join us here in a minute. We just witnessed history, ladies and gentlemen. Microsoft absolutely decimated E3. I mean, they, they completely just... And I just want to say something real quick before we go around. Microsoft today, what they did was phenomenal. And now I want to ask the Xbox fans to do something. When you see those people that are going to flip-flop, and there's going to be a lot of flip-floppers, make sure you remember that they flip-flop, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to associate with those people, and I would hope that you guys wouldn't either. Everybody that said, oh, power, 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 graphics, graphics, resolution, resolution, I'm going to go to PS4, DRM, any of that bullshit, right? Fuck them, because everybody's going to want to come Everybody's gonna come run, wanna come running back to Xbox now. Neo is dead. Sony is dead. Microsoft is the future. They just bought LinkedIn for $26 billion. Think about that. Oh, yeah. That's more than Sony is worth as a company, and Microsoft is finding that shit in their couch coaches to buy a fucking company like LinkedIn. They own LinkedIn, Skype, Xbox, Windows. They fucking dominate. Havoc. Every, Havoc engine. They own every goddamn thing, and here he is now, fucking Iron Wolf. What's Hashtag. up, bro? Facts. Hashtag motherfucking facts. Hashtag motherfucking facts. facts. Yes. So, so basically, Microsoft just did what they should have done. When everybody's like, be the behemoth that you are, <laughs> guess what? They just did that. The most powerful console ever created, and that is Xbox Scorpio, and that is going to be phenomenal. Not only that, but the Slim in itself upscales to 4K, and it uh, looks like that could be possibly a, a hit as well. So, I mean, what a phenomenal E3, man. Let's go around the room, man. What did you guys think? Uh, what did I think? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, again, I've said it again and again. We needed new hardware to get the fucking juices flowing because we couldn't enjoy our games this generation. Everything was dissected with a fucking knife and a fucking needle, you know, blades of grass. Um, and in a perfect world, you say, you know what? It's all about the games. Who has the better games? And to me, um, Microsoft have been catering I guess from the far as they the the AAA games, Sony not so much. They kind of you know fell back on the multiplats, but it is what it is. You know, you say tomato, I say tomato. But with the Scorpio, like I was telling you guys, they don't really have to show it. They just have to announce it to let them know the fans that people may only can afford one console. Listen, sit tight. We got something coming next year that's going to trump the Neo. And I'm glad they did what I said they need to do. And you know. It's a new, it's a new day in China. I, I'm sorry, it's over right now. Like I said, I, you know, I was a little optimistic, you know, when crap Moose was saying that already the Neil's dead, you know, I man, not to count Sony out, but go. We have native 4K gaming. So guess what? Even the games that you may buy this year, that may be 900p or whatever on the Xbox or whatever one or Slim S, uh, native. But guess what? When the score will come out, those can be upscaled. You know what I mean? Well, you know, not even upscaled. Those can be, those can be, you know, to the 4K name. They can just make one game and it scales up and scales down with the, the Windows 10 Universal UDP thing, man. Somebody can take it from there. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm happy. Yeah, it's it's very shocking. Mooch. Oh, last thing. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Fucking controller. Did you see the fucking Gears controller? Yeah, that yeah, Gears controller God. is slick. Man, they got my money again. Oh, yeah, they got my money again. Hey, yeah, you can you, you can design your own controller now too. Like yeah, you know, with your gamer man, tag or gears. customize your own colors and shit, man. But yeah. that, is that what the elite also? Or is that just what the regular controller? It's that's regular. that's the regular controller. Oh, man, give me that. Give me that. That gears. <laughs> that gears elite was sick. I'm Mooch, burning. I know. I, I know you got a lot to say, Mooch. So go ahead and jump in because I know you've been like saying this shit all along too. Like just wow. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, this this is I, I couldn't wait for Microsoft to be on the offensive, and that's what we saw today. They they they've gotten the word out. Microsoft's the talk of E3 right now. Now you're probably saying, well, of course it's the talk of E3. Sony hasn't gone yet. The thing is, though, no matter what Sony shows tonight, Danger Ball, Office Simulator, um, Mow Your Lawn Simulator, Doing Your Dishes Simulator, whatever they show tonight, okay, <laughs> whatever chore you do in your house that they've captured on VR. 
everyone's going to turn to the person next to them and be like, but damn, the 6T flops. You know what I mean? Like, because the thing is, is that Microsoft must know something that we all are assuming that they know. There's a bunch of, uh, a lot of salty ponies have been hitting me in the past hour being like, they're going to take it back. Neil's going back to the drawing board. Listen, first of all, I don't even like to give the guy credit, <laughs> but he, he's got to get credit. Rand had a, a conversation with that Shinobi guy. Shinobi is a big time pony insider guy. He'll say he's not, but he is. And um, he's already said they can't go back to the drawing board. This is already in production. Silicon chips, whatever they're whatever they're doing, is already in the process. So it's not something yeah. where you can just pull the camera out of the box. They were trying to get that out in time for VR, PlayStation VR. Yeah, what I was told is that they have the specs on lock, so they cannot really go back for R and B unless they want to waste two billion dollars. You're botting like crazy. Uh, yeah, like, how, about, uh, how about how, how, about, how, about, how about, about come back in? Yeah, um, yeah but they can't uh, again. They, you know, even if they were to. Um, Upscale, I'm sorry, um, overclock the CPU. Uh, what they pay for for AMD is what they pay for. You listen to what Microsoft said. Something I've been telling you guys all along. It's not that Microsoft and Sony sprung is on the developers. You say that when they're making, even with Sony, when in, in Microsoft, when they're making hardware, they go to their partners. Hey, this is what I got. What can you guys do with this? And, they, and I told you guys that developers want more power to push their vision even further. Because they Microsoft gave us ten. It may even be upgradable. Maybe that may just be the the, the, the entry model, six teraflops, you know what I mean? And they're both doing business with AMD. So you guess what? If I knew the specs of the Neo, you damn believe that Microsoft knew the goddamn specs of the Neo, you know what I mean? Sure, yes, man. They're going back, you know what I mean? They, they, this console comes out in October, so you have June, July, August, September, October. I'm going to go one further next year. I'm going to go one further. They said the the most, uh, what they say, the uh, most powerful console ever. ever. Yeah. Ever. You hear me? So they've been new. No, they know oh, what yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, again, and that's not to get too long when you let us go. Um, what was told to me, again, they said that word around five that both Microsoft and Sony would break a new hardware. But not even so much that. Also, what I heard, and this wasn't from someone uh, on a Microsoft side, this one that's in the middle that doesn't have, doesn't have a, a dog in his fight either way, left or right, they said that Microsoft would not be outdone when it comes to hardware again. Yeah. Hey, and think think about this. Microsoft. Everybody wants to think that that Phil Spencer um, doesn't uh, do, doesn't fucking or he speaks in riddles. Listen very carefully to what he said. Not a fan of 1.5, little incremental jumps. He wants big numbers. 1.5 teraflops to six is big numbers. Uh, doing and what did I say next? I remember months ago. At least give me some props for this. I said the next leap in generation would be native 4K gaming, right? Everybody oh, should remember me saying that. Mm -hmm. um, and I, yeah, and I and I said like that's that's what they should not not the stuff that Neo does. Neo may be able to do some indies in 4K, but it as a person that has the documents, it's not doing like. 4K game, like we're gonna get out of Halo everything. 4K. Everything. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I guess it depends on the game again, um, and not to discredit, but I, I think it's four teraflops, plus whatever, whatever card that is. It depends on the game. So most likely, games will be upscaled. Some, you know, the, I guess the um, games they're very demanding will be upscaled to 4K. But I guess some games, like I said every day, uh, can be uh, quote unquote uh, 4K. But here's the thing, though. I, I don't want developers. Don't start your shit. You know, gimping the how you say hashtag no parody. Don't start your shit. You know, gimping the Xbox One version, making it 1080p, 60, and upscaling to 4K because so Mike, I'm sorry, because the PlayStation 4 Neo can't do it. Don't do right. that. You know, what I mean, don't do that. Don't do that to us. We yeah. got the 900p and the 27, 20p for three hey, years. You guys next know. Day, next day, you gotta realize though, they can't do that because they're making it for PC too. <laughs> oh, you know, a good point. You know, so good point because what, it's, it's one code, and you know, something I've, I've been preaching forever that they can just make one game, one code with DirectX 12 and Windows 10. You're absolutely yeah. right with that. Am um, I still buying, by the way? No, you're good. No, you're straight. No. Oh, okay. No, because the Scorpio is going to be more like the Nexus device. You know what I mean? So every developer is going to work within the parameters of the Scorpio. So it's all going to be like Z said. It's all going to be one code. It's going to be PC, Xbox, under UWP. Now, I don't know where that leads to PlayStation. Hey, well, it just means got, they may end up getting the inferior ports, man. That's I know everybody on this I know everybody on this panel knows this guy. Uh Jeff Jeffy's boy, the Jeff's boy, he's got the uh, Red Dead Redemption logo as his Twitter guy. He's a big time pony. I've had him blocked yeah. for a long ass time. Yeah, yeah. I he's one of the only guys I, I have like two or three that I don't block because they, they only attack in small spurts. Here's what he writes me after I he's writing on and on and on. He goes, I don't I quote him. 
I don't need power to make me feel special. Still love my PS4. Remember oh, when you guys turned on X1 <laughs> in two seconds? The pony tears. My God, can somebody... I need a fucking bathtub to catch this he shit. He said he doesn't need power? He goes, I don't need power. I'm happy with my PS4 vanilla. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. Real shit. I mean, just being real. If he's... like, You gotta come on, bro. You guys were all on fucking Twitter with the native 1080p. Why would you bother inferior version 720p and 900p? And not say that power doesn't matter. Stop the shit. You know, stop it. Now you guys are going to fucking eat this humble pie. I've been saying, hey, we just talk about the games. I say in the purple, you know, this talk about who has the better games. And I think it's silly for console gamers to be arguing over fucking frames per second in resolution. I think it's the silliest shit in the world. We didn't really talk about it last generation when 90% of the places in three games were sub fucking 720p. We didn't really talk about it. it wasn't that big of a, a argument, you know? What I mean, now resolution, besides a high graphic fidelity, not even so much as the, that the, the the Scorpio is going to be in native 4K. It's going to be a higher graphic fidelity. So guess what? Even if you don't have a 4K fucking television, doesn't matter. Your games are going to still trump the fucking Neo because it's, you know it's, it's Oh my! I just can't fucking wait. I'm ecstatic, man. This is what we needed, man. I'm it sorry, is. man. It is. It's phenomenal. I really, um, I really thought they were gonna play it safe, man. They're not gonna announce the Scorpio, man. I'm they surprised. had to. They had to. Hey, they listen, had listen. To, the, the initial I'm leaks. I'm surprised they're gonna be a fence slide. I'm really happy about it, though. Hey, the the initial leaks, guys, right? Were multiple hardware reveals, right? The whole leak of the Slim was, I believe, a smokescreen. Right, well, they 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 had to say something, and I said they wouldn't show a box, and they didn't. But they were going to talk about it, and they, exactly they did. Um, and that's exactly what they needed to do. Now, going around the room, how many people here think Mike, Sony's going to pull out the Neo card tonight? Um, they, I don't think so because Sony has. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna make a presentation, don't you think, Z? Something very no, similar. No, 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 no. What they, this is what they're gonna do. Are they scrambling the games right that now? You, the, the games that you can, okay. whether it be God of War or whatever the fuck the case may be, that's going to be one in said Neo mode without showing the actual box. It is what it is. But Sony can't come up there really because this has been their stick. You know it. Most powerful console. We got the more power, power, power. They can't really come out there. They're going to, we, you know, they can't really come out and say, hey, this is a Neo. And, um, and really can't even justify people, uh, I guess, upgrading to the Neo for whatever reason. You know, maybe because you have the Scorpio around the corner. You know what I mean? Like this, like this is my God. Native 4K? Forget about it. And like I said, Microsoft maybe trying to bridge the two communities. Guess what? You can buy this console for maybe 450. This say tops 500 dollars. That's way more powerful than your rig for fucking with six teraflops. You know what I mean? And they like you know enable mouse and keyboard support. You know so they can still do that whatever they want to do. Like that's gonna be huge, man. You know. But why would they want to buy a thousand dollar rig, man, when you could buy yeah, this? Buy it there, you go. there you go. There you go. And that's you gonna go. be the whole. That's gonna be the whole money maker right there. There yeah. you go. You know what I mean? There you go. There yeah, you but go. you can you can really see the future. The two companies going forward. Sony still talking about any games and games is coming out three to four years in the future. Now they kept talking about power. And the Xbox had the most powerful console, and you see they're trying to grab the PC market by putting all their exclusives on Windows 10. And that's on Windows 10. That's not on PC. That's not on Steam. Steam that's on yeah. Windows 10. That's still going to Microsoft Pocket. So Sony's in a big in a lot of trouble. You, you know what? I'm sorry, you can't hear. I was going to say this. I say what y'all ain't looking at, y'all. Um, this is big for Microsoft because all they have to do is put their software on Windows 10 on, on yeah. all devices. Listen to the markets that they can be in. They can be in every market because everywhere there's PCs. You yes. know, that's Japan, that's everything. So if Japan, they, it might be in, like, where they might not like the console, that's good but they might like the games. You see what I'm saying? So because if it's on Windows, they have purchased the game over then it's trying to, you know what I'm saying, purchase yes, a console. Yeah. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So that's more powerful. Okay, hey, so I got the Neo specs pulled up right in front of me right now, okay? okay give it to um, me. Somebody, okay, the Neo... Is two two hundred eighteen gigabytes bandwidth of memory. Yeah, what was the what was the score? Three, three, three twenty over three twenty. Okay, so so this is this is so all you guys. I'm looking at this right now. CPU uses the same Jaguar cores as original PlayStation Four at higher frequency. So they overclocked it from the one point six to the two point one. Um, GPU uses improved version of AMD GCNCUs. So uh, this one's going to have nine. Right. Yeah, it's 36 compute units at 911 megahertz. Memory, same 8 gigabytes GDDR5. 
Um, but look at the difference in, in, in bandwidth for the memory, guys. 218 for this. Think about this. The original PS4 is only 176. Yes. This is so so. Actually, the Neo is not even that much more um, as far as memory bandwidth, right? I mean, it's it's, it's interesting. It's this is very interesting. Um, yes, I mean, obviously. So it's not just the the flops. It's it's all this stuff. You know what I mean? It's a lot more than just the teraflops. Microsoft tore that bitch down from the scratch and built a true. Now here's a here's a question: Is would this be considered? Uh, ninth generation console is or it's yes. just um, yeah. yes. Well, did you they they they're ending the generations? Did you like catch yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's my that's my answer because they said well, they're all gonna hold hands together. Original Xbox, Xbox S. Well, and the question Scorpio. the question is loaded. I mean, the question is loaded because it, it, there, yes and no is the answer. It, it's definitely the next generation because what you're gonna get is 4K gaming. So yeah, we're moving forward. It's a large enough leap to say that we're leaving this one behind. But it's also no because, like you said. This is we're ending the fact of what you had before is dead and you're moving on. Now what they're saying is everything you own will always, always transfer with yes, you, just yes, like PCs yes. always had. So it's yes or no. And I like to think of it as more yes, because if I'm putting my money down and I'm ensured that I'm moving up in the in the next generation to a better gaming experience, and by, that's by far a, a next generation console. Yeah, right. Uh, they're done with the generations. I mean, did you catch? Look, Phil Spencer is kind of a visionary, and I know people are gonna jump on that. There's no exclusive things, but check this out. Every game you buy is gonna be on both, right? So yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like for me, I'm not a fan of gaming on PC. I never will. I have a cable. My PC right now is more capable than Xbox One or PS4. Even more capable than PS4 Neo. I, I invested over a thousand dollars in it. You know what I'm saying? Um. It's it's a very but I use it for watching porn and for making videos. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, exactly. So so at the end of the day, um, I'm a I'm a console gamer. A lot of people are console gamer. Now, if you guys missed what we said on Z's channel earlier, he had a good point that he guessed that he did. He, he ended up not taking credit for, which was this will be a great way to get PC gamers over onto the console space because yeah. this thing is all in one box, six teraflops, which is better than most people's rigs. Yeah. And uh, you know, most people like to lie about the rigs that they have. You know, oh, I got this and this and this, right? Like twelve thousand dollar PC. Yeah, exactly. Machines. And most of them, if you look at the Steam statistics, we're running less than a Wii U or like Xbox 360 <laughs> specs. So if you could pick up something that's VR ready, six teraflops, 4K ready, native gaming console. That chip, that chip's at 4K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they didn't put that shit like right in the front and it's center. Sad, didn't it? Oof, 4K. Yes. So so look. Microsoft, there, there is no more generations. This console war stuff is over. Uh, yeah. Neo's already outdated. Like yeah, they might yeah, come out yeah, with something it's a little bit obsolete, man. But yo, the, if you were to guess a price on it, what would it be? Five hundred bucks. Five hundred, yeah. yeah. You know what? You know what? I, listen, I won't, I won't mark it being four hundred dollars, ladies and gentlemen. I still won't mark it being four hundred dollars. Just the fact on what AMD just showed us. You know, with those two hundred dollar goddamn, you know, red yeah. capable GPUs. And, and I know, look, look, everybody wants to give Sony all the credit in the world. Oh, man, Sony can now change that. Microsoft tipped their hand too soon. They're going to do this and this and this. Look, no, these things take years of development. Microsoft, you heard what they went to developers. They asked them. They did this. They did this. Um, the most powerful console ever created is going to be Scorpio. That's when you can say that. It's yes. a fact. Um, you know, look, the Neo is already the dev kits are out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, the reason why we've got to wait for Scorpio is because that stuff's not ready for mass production yet. But no, Neo, no, crap. You hear what he said? He said that the developers can start making games for their Neo yes. now. Yes, that's they have, why they, 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 have, they, they They have basically what is not even so much a dead kit. You, you put you have a PC built with the specs of what's going to be in quote unquote the said Scorpio. You know what I mean? He yeah. said that there that developers can start making games for. The quote unquote Scorpio now that can be ready for next year. They also have the Scorpio, you know, basically, you know, uh, what's going to be in, you know, the, you know, the, you know, what's going to be in the Scorpio. They, you know, making games for it now. You think about your big multiplats that are coming out. What's coming out next year on a big multiplat tip? Uh, well, I mean, Call of Duty. Okay, yeah, uh, whatever. So they already have those, you know, um, kits now, and they're making it for the next. Even with the. Um, I'm sorry, like I said, with the... Assassin's Creed, right? That would be a good one, too. Yeah, like whatever. Whatever, what, yeah. Even whatever what, what Sony's making doesn't make a difference. They're already making it on those things now. And I said, a lot of people, I guess, saying that it's like they're just announcing it now. No, 
they've been like they've been already you know making games for these guys. We're just hearing about it now, but this is yeah. not nothing new whatsoever. You know what I mean? So I'm just happy. Yeah. I, hey man, I'm 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 thrilled. And and the interesting thing is is that. They, you know what Microsoft did? They, they gave us games at E3 today that we're going to get to play soon, right? Yeah. And what I, also the other thing that I like is they gave us games that we're going to play soon, and they also gave us that thing where you don't have to worry about buying games on your Xbox One because they're going to play on the Scorpio, and they're going to look even better. You know what I mean? So it's not like you're going to have – they're going to be like, oh, well, like, you know you – know, yeah, you know how like okay when the when the Xbox One was announced, people stopped buying games for the 360, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's just a fact. I did, everybody did. Like you didn't mm -hmm. buy Batman: Arkham Origins. A lot of people didn't buy yep. the new Splinter Cell. Right? Now you don't have to worry about that. That's like that's a thing of the past. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, hey, so 700 people. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my wow. god. That's that's crazy. Crazy. Thank Thank you. About this yeah. I think this, really, man. this really changes it for Microsoft. I can see a lot of people trying to jump on the bandwagon now because Sony has nothing going for them. Microsoft has the best exclusives. They had the best online. Sony, the only thing they had to generation was power, power, power. Yeah, Without that narrative, I don't know what Sony's going to do. Look, look, Microsoft said no matter where you want to play, whether you want to play it on a super high-end console, whether you want to buy the budget console, two ninety nine and showstopper. Oh, okay, your camera was on for a second. Whether you want to do the two ninety nine S, whether you want to play on a fucking twelve thousand dollar PC, uh, you can play wherever the hell you want to play, but as long as you're buying Microsoft products, and that's basically what it comes down to. And uh, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, does anybody else want to mention top something on Scorpio real quick? Uh, 4K gaming. Yeah, 4K. 4K. Hey, guess what? I'm going to have to get me a 4K TV this year, guys. Come on. They're, they're cheap, though. They're going to be even yeah. cheaper next yeah, year. Yeah. But guess what, crap? You, know, the beautiful, you, don't even have, you don't even need a 4K television to take advantage of. Oh, oh, I know, man. But you know what? Look, here's the thing. Um, they, have, they have those Vizios and stuff. I had my eye on one for a little bit. You know, like that'll be the one that I'm going to get. Um, the P-Series? They, that P-Series awesome. Yeah, yeah. They actually, told me they look amazing. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Look, they've mentioned look, they've mentioned three times the memory bandwidth and the six teraflops, but but do we know what else what else is under the hood? Like, see, not yet. They're, they're, you know what? They're very, they're very they're very they they did this very tactfully, Wolf, because. Yeah. Hey crap! Um, I don't mean to interrupt gonna, you, but gonna, show, show, you, time, I think. show you Shida. Show you Shida just tweeted something out, but I can't read. Anybody? Oh, you're friends with him, crap. Can you take a look and see uh, what your buddy uh, said? He said something out, it. and of course, some, some of the guys that are the neutrals, they said this is what a classy executive does. So uh, I was just curious. Uh, 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 what did he do? He Hold on, that. let me see. Let me see what Yoshida's doing now. Oh, uh, I noticed Yoshida congratulated Phil on E3. Sounds like. In defeat, Sony wants to have humility. That's what somebody wrote me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats, mm. Phil. Great show. Aaron oh, now they want to say fucking congrats. Yeah, oh, now they want to say fucking congrats. Yeah. <laughs> to make themselves more relevant. Listen, right? let me tell you something. Fuck, that's bullshit. You Xbox fans and you Sony guys, see through. They just admitted defeat. Yeah. You have never seen Sony. Since been, this three years this quarantine, since Sony's became mm. fans, they have never came out and congratulated Phil. Yeah. I always said to them guys, Phil, stop kissing these guys' ass. Stop fucking saying, you know, good Greek launch on Uncharted. And just fuck all that shit. It's war. Now he wants some, hey, Phil, good job. Get the hell out of here, man. Hey, Phil, wait, when are you going to come over and have a cup of coffee and some sake? Yeah. <laughs> now, you, now, you guys, now you guys want to open up your, your network to play with Xbox Live gamers now, right? Get the hell out of here, man. It's hey, over, Gear, man. Gears Viking says Gears 4 will take advantage of the Scorpio hardware. Oh, oh. Ah. I told you that. So that footage that we saw of Gear Four was that. He was, said was that on a regular Xbox. I think that was just a regular I don't Xbox. Know. Wow, that's that's too good. Blew my mind, yo. Yeah, that shit was too good right there. Hey, Jesus. He, yeah. he said. No, he, did, he said. He said. He said. He said. Gears Four will take advantage of the Scorpio hardware. Scale oh, forward. I told you, you can make one game and just scale forward and backwards. Yeah. So uh, it's basically saying when when Scorpio's releases will get some sort of an update on on prior games. Yes. Games, all the, all, games, all yes. the exclusives are going to run better on Scorpio, like look better. Even and stuff like that. Well, now hey, the, the good news is well. next next gen can stop going. Well, everything's gonna be in Neo mode now. You can say in Scorpio <laughs> mode, right? Well, I said that. Did they gonna show oh, everybody they... tired of that Neo? Mode no, 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 no. I no, no, no. To be fair, I said that whatever Microsoft show. <laughs> It's going to be in set Scorpio mode, and in whatever Sony shows, is, instead of using the PC version, they're going to use the best version. You know, now you're looking at yeah. 4, 4. So, no, look, man, I was saying that, damn, that 4K, Forza Horizon looks good. 
guess what? That's what it's going to look like on the Scorpio. Yeah, I'm 60 frames per second, I would assume, on Scorpio, too. Yeah, I'm a static. Um, okay, so let's let's do a checklist real quick. Most powerful console, Scorpio, check. check. Scorpio. Uh, best, best online <laughs> multiplayer, check. Check. Best uh, check. Best exclusives, check. Check. Best, best controller, check. Check. Oh, check, check. Best multiplayers, check. <laughs> How about play too, man? Cross play, cross play. Check. Whoa, we're running out of everything to fucking anything to check. Realistic VR. Check. Company, Richard Company. Crap, I got one for him. This is what I want to. Least y'all won in sales. Congrats! Hey, somebody start the slow clap. Congrats. Yeah. All right. You know what? Not to mention, though, we had Final anymore. Fantasy 15 and Tekken 7 on stage, man. So even hey. the Japanese game that the ponies love, you know what I mean? They won exactly. Stage, hey, you know what? <laughs> Check this out. And don't we get a free backwards compatible? Um, yep. Yeah, you get it right now. There's people, there's people downloading it right now. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Is it any? I'm, I've never played a Tekken game, so. Tekken Tag 2 is free right now on Xbox One. Okay. Oh, oh, here's something too. Uh, Recore costs forty dollars, and it comes with banjo kazooie nuts and bolts for free. Oh, that's wow. Cool. That's and Recore awesome. looking good too. Like, hey, the Recore, Recore looked nice fucking form. sweet. Did you guys like that? I did. Yeah, I thought like, Recore was nice. Like, I think it's like a platformer. You got a platformer uh, type feel, or yeah, it was like a shooter platforming puzzle kind of vibe. There, it looked awesome, yeah. man. And the graphics. I, I thought insane. it looked phenomenal. Oh, there's a collector's edition too. Holy yeah. shit. Collector's edition of what? Of Recore. Oh, put it, put it in, put it in, put it in that Twitter thing. Uh, I think I think forty dollars. Somebody right just tweeted price, it though. to you. Oh, they got the right price for that game though, because it's a new IP number one, and number two, it's only a single player game. So forty yeah, dollars is just idea. right. Oh, it's gonna sell so good. A statue, a steel bookcase. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we, yeah, we hear you now. Yeah. Okay, they're doing the same thing with Recoil that they did with Ori. Oh, Ori, forty dollar game. You know what I'm saying? Which turned out to be nice. Yeah, no, it'll be forty also, and I guarantee you it's gonna turn out to be nice. It's yeah. coming September, same month as Horizon Free, man. So yeah. we got two exclusives that month. Yeah, hey, we're getting Dead Rising crazy. Four, which remember people thought it was a Is remake. It yes, it's exclusive confirmed. It says uh, Windows 10, Xbox One exclusive on the box. All right. Um, it says Frank is back in Colorado 16 years after the original. So this isn't a remake. This is a full-on Dead Rising Four. Um, they're releasing exclusively on Xbox One and Windows 10. Uh, it looks it looks phenomenal. Like that game looks really fun to me. Like I like that kind of goofy uh, kind of thing like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, oh wow! Now now now. Uh, what the hell did Yoshida just tweet back? Look, he's like, "Congrats, Phil. Good show." Phil's like, "Thanks. Good luck this evening." And then oh, Yoshida, it's gonna be a massacre. Yoshida tw yeah. tweeted back some kind of weird little. I, I'd be racist if I said what it looks like, but... <laughs> is it a real Yoshida or whatever the hell? Yeah, it's really Yoshida, well, man. Is it like a Pokemon-looking icon or something? <laughs> said Pokemon. I don't know what the hell that is, man. Like, I don't know. Like, Only weird, like, cool. eyes closed or something? I'll sit here and say it was a piece of rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> but, I mean, hey, hey, guys, like, what, what do you guys... Do, like... Neogaf, that place has got to be burning down, right? Oh, mm -hmm. Neogaf are having a meltdown right now. I've been looking at some of the shreds, man. <laughs> so yeah. much. The tears are delicious. Hey, here's a question. Why do you why do you guys think Recore is forty dollars? With the why is it not a mainstream sixty dollar game? I don't see I don't see the uh, the tweet with the score. I'm looking for it. I, I saw it because it. this it's a pro consumer move, man. Oh, this, this game could have been a sixty dollar game, but it's well, a that, that's that's what I want to know. Is is it a, is it that kind of move, Wolf, or is it just yeah. something where it's it's, it's not it's an like a ratchet yeah. and clank where it's a step? It's a, kind of like an Ori where it's an in between a double A game. Hey, you know what they're doing? Like these platformer type. Deals or whatever, <laughs> like they're 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 like forty dollar titles. Look at Ratchet and Clank, right? I mean, that's a. Are you able to pre-order this shit? Because I'm looking to pre-order this thing. Look on the Microsoft store. Why is it one hundred seventy nine dollars? It's, it's one eighty. That's gonna steep there. Yeah. One eighty. Nah, you could agree that. Dude, I look hold like on, man. It, yeah, it I says one eighty like on Amazon. 
Um, but, Look at the but, production values on Recall, man. It was off the roof, man. It was. It's got a steep bit of 180. Out. Jesus Christ. It might not be that much, dude. I, I don't know. Well, it does list it at that, though. Like, Jesus, for, yeah. for a statue and a... The game itself is only 40. That's what I'm saying. They went, they went 140 for other stuff. But, but yeah. hey, the, the fucking... Like, like, here's the thing, right? They mm-hmm. listed at 60 at Amazon when it's 40... Um, I guess game. Look at GameSpot. GameStop. I'm sorry. Game yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll check that out. Sorry, oh. folks. We're like we're doing this shit like kind of off the cuff and everything. It's like <laughs> interesting. Um, what was your guys? What was your guys' favorite game that you saw? Let's go around the room. Uh, Scalebound. 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 Gears Four. Gears Four and Forza Horizon. Mm. I gotta go scale down. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm gonna go oh, scale. You guys are having a scale down? I train it out too. I blew my mind, yo. Scale down. Scale down just looks like a legit four-player game where, like, I want to have other people jamming out. Like, you just get into it. I mean, Gears, don't get me wrong. Gears is Gears. Like, yeah. I think everybody will understand that we, we would all put Gears as one or two in our list. I understand that. Mm-hmm. But let's just be honest. Like, Gears... Is it? You're not gonna sit down and play Gears and be like, "Oh wow, this is, I didn't even see this coming." I, I think I think uh, uh, Scalebound's bringing a whole new element to the Xbox. Like someone like me who's an Xbox guy, not a Sony guy, it's it's a new type of game, something that all of us are not used to that genre. Yeah. So it's oh, exciting yeah. to see. Oh, wait, hold on, bring it. And it's got multiplayer too, man. I think Recore is. Uh, <laughs> I think Recore is sixty bucks. The GameStop has it at sixty bucks also. Yeah, they do, but it's like why I've seen it. Uh, if you go to. Uh, Somebody's been saying it's 40 bucks. I've been seeing it on the Xbox Wire. Hey, here, here's what Phil Spencer said. Today marks the beginning of a future of gaming beyond generations, a future full of choice, a future where we can play all play without boundaries. I mean, what that's that's pretty powerful. I mean, that's yeah. in my in my opinion. I mean, look, generations as we think of them are over. But the important thing to think of is they gave you enough time to even like a, a cheap ass like me yeah. can say, hey, I, I have plenty of time to save this up. You know what I mean? Like had they had said, hey, we're going to come out with Scorpio this holiday, I don't know if I would have been able to pull the trigger. You know what I mean? Just because with all the games coming out, how could I have been able to get both? You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. next gen. I don't got that fucking <laughs> that money. oxycodone money. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but But, you know, like <laughs> – I got the little nervous laughs. laughs. I love it. Everybody's like, yo, I wanted to pop on my joke, but you're like, I don't want to offend Zaire. <laughs> I, think, I think Phil Spencer did a real good job at this. Piece. You know, he has extended that olive branch to any person that felt burnt by the Xbox One reveal and all these hard times the Xbox game has been having. I think we're going to really see some fruits of their labor coming forward. We're going to really have some great stuff coming You know, the, the whole attitude has changed on Twitter. Of course, there's the, the king ponies that are still out there doing whatever they're doing in damage control mode. But, like, everybody's, like, positive right now. Everyone's like, yay, Scorpio. Hey, he's Z huge. Anybody want to take this and send it to him? Fuck off. I'm, I'm fucking huge. locked, I so I can't, I can't say any. I can't well, say apparently Z Huge has been sending out all kinds of pie charts the past couple hours, so only oh, God dude, knows. Yeah, you, you've really slept on your pie charts, bro. I have. Well, I've just been concentrating on other things, but you're right. I should get back to Mooch Huge. I've let a lot of people down. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that son of a, what do you call it there? It was Grumpy Uncle Pete. Grumpy Uncle Pete on Twitter uh, was uh, ranting and raving about a couple of Z Huge's pie charts. I don't know what it was. I couldn't see them. So, who the oh, hell yeah. knows? But well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like in the chat box right now. I appreciate Foxfire. Shout out to her for moderating for me. Yes, Fox. Um, because yeah, like when I'm like doing these, I always have like a bunch of different. Yeah, it's it's tabs hard to open, do both. So it's hard yeah. for me to do both. But I really appreciate it. Um. <laughs> Damn, you know what? I I I, re- I know you're not into this game, but see if these impressed me. Like they they were having fun with that. And it me, looked like fun, man. I gotta yeah. agree with you. You know, and that's the thing. I I didn't really. St- I don't think it's something I feel like I have to run out and grab day one. But I will say this much: you uh, you get a crew together, and it's something like when I said Ark. I, I think I said that, and Z jumped on me. He said it's not like Ark. He's right. It's not it's not like Ark. But I meant in the sense of like. Okay, so the, everybody on this panel, right, we all get into the game, and we all decide this is our ship, and you create this thing, and you go out, and you, you have to fight other people. And this, it, it, It's something you create from ground zero. That's the way it seemed to be, the, yeah, the, the way the rare dis- yeah. uh, creator described it. So if it's something where you start with nothing, build a ship, you know, get, go out uh, to colonies, uh, develop and pillage and things like that, and bring things, that can be really interesting. Is it yeah. something that I think is, is this megaton? I, I don't know about that, yeah. you know. I'm well, you know, game because I'm a big fan of this show, Black Sails on Stars, the pirate show. So I'm yeah. gonna try yeah. the game out. I love the um, pirates. 
Well, well, did you know what I like best about it? It's people. The people that were playing the game were fans. They were having fun. Did you hear them laughing and shit? Yes. Like they were having fun. Like imagine this: BGST has a ship, right? And shit, we're taking hits. You know what I mean? We're down. Me and Mooch are down in the fucking thing, trying to patch the shit up before we sink. That right. sounds like fun to me. You know what I mean? That's it, good fucking fun. It does. It does. And that's what I mean. I think that's one of those games again where the fun is is created or destroyed by the people you're playing with. So. Yeah. You know, it's not my, my point. There, crap, is this? Okay, let's say I know you're you're a diehard physical guy. So, Sea of Thieves comes out. You go to midnight relaunch. Launch. You grab it. Let's just say for some reason, all of us either don't get it or we're scattered getting it throughout the week. You go home, pop it in. If you don't have a group of people playing with you, I can see you writing me and being like, "It's okay. Uh, I just I don't I don't really have anyone to do anything with." You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's one of those games where the game's fun depends on your company. And those yeah. games right now in this generation, I'm not I'm not bashing it. I'm just saying those games in this generation have yet to prove themselves, right? Like, uh, what was that one game there? Uh, I can't Division. Even Divi well, not Divi no, Division and, and, and Destiny. I mean, you could say that, I guess. I was thinking more of the ones, the guys who made Left 4 Dead. With the monsters, one v four. Oh, oh um, what the hell is that damn game? Evolve, uh, evolve, yeah. Yeah, like evolve, and we can see what happened to Fable Legends. Something where you need other people to make your game fun sometimes doesn't float well. You know, I've noticed that. Yeah, you know what? Here's the thing, though. Like, I've expanded the group that I game with now. You know, like before, I used to be kind of. Um, I guess, just kept to myself, and I only game with certain people. I've kind of expanded that. Like, even Mooch will tell you, like, I didn't game with you there very much, or anybody, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> my group, my, Grave, my brother, Hal Amherst, Knight, like, the people that I've known for years. Now I've kind of expanded that, and there's actually, you know what I mean, like, I have more people to game with as far as that, you know what I mean? Like, um, so I think that we'll be able to find people. I'm hoping, like, that game looks great to me. It's a good change of pace. You know, like, I'm not saying that I'm going to be on a 24-7, but I could see myself playing on that quite a bit. You know, I'm very, I'm very impressed with what I saw, like, because it looks like fun, you know, like, right. to me. Like, every, all the stuff they showed today looked fun, except for some of that indie stuff, but... <laughs> yeah. I thought the clubs was a really good idea. You know, like, to find people you want to play with and make your own little club, so you well, can have, like, a BGST club. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, even more than that, I mean, I know you guys will all throw eggs at me for this, and that's fine. But, like, the past couple of days, I've been trying to get – once every two weeks, this one daily mission came out on Destiny to get the Black Spindle. And it was – for like, you, you need two people to bust ass to get this thing done for you. You need a team. And it was always like, oh, my God, I, I, I'm reaching out. Last night, if you guys were on Twitter, you saw I was like, yo, I'm doing this. Anybody want to jump in? Um, it would be nice what they show. What Mikey Barr showed is w whether it was clubs or that um, find a group or lo locate something, whatever the other one was called. You could actually put a request out saying, "Hey, I'm doing this mission," and it sends it out to everybody in either the club or your friends list. And then that way, somebody could be like, "Oh shit, I'll do that." You know what I mean? Like it, it's a, a better way to reach out to a community, yeah. not just for friends and common interests, but maybe for goals, right, or achievements. Yeah, I think that's you know? a good idea. That's a better yeah. Xbox or social aspects. Hey, let, let me let me ask you guys this real quick. Yes, sir. I know I know some of you guys weren't here when we started, but do you guys foresee a lot of people pretending like they never left Xbox? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, there's gonna sure. be a lot of flip floppers out there. Already started. Already started. There's gonna be a lot of people uh, downplaying yeah. the powers that that big of a deal. Hold this on, is... show, show what were you saying? I can't wait to see the YouTubers. <laughs> was all about balance gaming. Come back and sit here and change their tone on it. Neutral. Yeah, the neutrals, they'll be back. Oh, you, you already saw people like Boogie. Wait till Angry Joe starts. Okay, look, everybody's going to start. The media. Eurogamer. <laughs> How about those in our community <laughs> that turn full pony, man? You know yeah, dude, look. Eurogamer. Eurogamer, full on ponies, like this whole generation. Mooch, what's the first thing they tweet out? It's good that uh, Scorpio's a beast. Right? Yep. I'm, getting, I'm telling you, I'm seeing, it, I'm seeing it already. I'm seeing a lot of the neutrals. All the neutrals are, are, are tweeting out, like, uh, either a little bash on Sony now, or the neutrals are like, you know, can't wait. This may be a day one. I wonder what, you know, it's all this, it's mixed, right? Because they can't jump full, they can't jump full back to Xbox, right? They have to do it in small steps. So it's going to be fun to watch them crawling back in the next 12 months. Oh, yeah. Miller, so you, so you could really he say that Phil, Phil single-handedly just murdered fucking Neo. He just you can say him. you can yeah. say that Phil Spencer came in, took Donnie Matrick's seat, and put Xbox put Xbox back into the Iron Throne. That's what it he did. It was Phil Spencer's yeah. first E3. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wanted look I, like I, like a lot of people are like, hey, well, Satchin the dollar really wants, um, you know, all this and this, but Phil. 
really likes the idea of playing Killer Instinct if he's on the road. Yeah. You know what I mean? On his tablet or on his his laptop. That's his thing. So, like, look, it is going to take some people a while to get used to this idea, the play anywhere thing, right? Is it a big deal to me? No, no, I don't care. You know, is it going to be a big deal for some? Probably. Um, but Microsoft basically owns wherever you want a game. Hundreds of millions of Windows gamers. Um, Xbox is just going to – it's just going to be Xbox. You know what I mean? Let's face it. I, like, I want to say that crap, crap. Okay. Um, for the whole, whole mission that they've been doing – by giving it to us in increments. They ain't give it to us all full, like rip the Band-Aid off. You know, they've been trying to trinkle it in little bit by little bit, and it took three years yeah. just to kind of trinkle it in to get everybody accustomed to it. And, you know, I, I told you all they backdoor us to being, you know, PC gamers pretty yeah. much. But well, I just hope it doesn't bring the initial problems that the PC gaming community has. You know, that's my it, only worry. You know what? Hey, crap, it won't be that way because the games will be better optimized. See, with, yeah. with PC gaming... You have a thousand different iterations. You can have one Titan. I may have nine Titans. You may have eight gigs. I might have 36 gigs. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to, quote, unquote, optimize a game for PC. You have so many set of the hardware. It's not going to be like that with, you know, with the Scorpion or whatever the case may be. You're just making one game, one code, it scales up or it scales down automatically. You know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. Problems. So, so if we had to give the Xbox media briefing a score, A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever, um, Mooch, we'll start with you. What would you give it? I, I mean, are we doing numerical or are we doing letter grade? Letter grade. All right. I mean, see, here's the thing. Everyone likes to throw those pluses out. I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to throw an A out. Solid A. I'm not going to go any higher than that right now because the fact of the matter is this. I think everything that we that I wanted was there except for one thing. The thing I'm the reason I'm removing the plus was I didn't see any new IP. Um, I mean, yeah, if you want to say State of Decay 2, but that's that's not that's not really going to cut it. Uh, we also didn't see Crackdown. So fair enough. I, I would say that as far as everything I wanted, I got. I know for a fact that everything as far as like recourse, scale bound, everything's moving in a great direction. We saw that the S is coming out. The S is amazing. The S, the S is actually something that I think. I mean, Z, you know what? You were partially correct. Would have been even better if it came out last year. But I mean, with all things considered, uh, I'm excited to get it this year because. You know, the 4K streaming, it just enhances a few things. It does, it's smaller, it's sleeker, it looks nicer. I mean, I'm not going to be able to enjoy too much of that because the entertainment center, you're not going to see too much of it. Yeah. But you get to re uh, I'll have another controller with nice grip, the, the grips that are on it. Uh, so they, they got that covered. The Scorpio, of course, was the drop the mic, the the, the, the nuclear bomb, if you will. Uh, and, and it was, it, it's, um, it, I, it, I would have gave it the plus crap, but the only reason I just can't is I just wanted to see one or two. I wanted Phil to tell me he had something else in the kitchen cooking, and I didn't see that. Maybe Gamescom will bring it. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, you know, you know what? Just real quick, and we'll, we'll go continue to go down the line. I think Microsoft was showing off things that we're getting now because a lot of the other stuff is getting prepped for Scorpio. Good point. You know, Good like, point. like to me, I think they're going to show off like the new IP. Um, I mean, we're still getting Sea of Thieves and Recore and you know, scale bound as new IP, but I hear what you're saying. Like we already knew about all this stuff, right? So yeah, I, I, get yeah, you, I get you. You, you gave it a fair thing. score. I'm just gonna say that I think they're prepping stuff to show off Scorpio. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. So, so would you would you say an A? An A, absolutely. Okay. Okay. That's that's definitely definitely fair enough. Uh, what about you, Showstopper? Oh, I I give it I give it a solid A. Change. I can't even put a plus. Get some change. You're buying right, my man. I yeah. like the, I'm sorry. There you go. Okay, this is why I like the conference. Uh, here's controller. The lead controller. Yeah. Um, the, uh, we all know the Scorpio, but they, they first 45 minutes. Uh, games that they control, just, you're still botting. Yeah, you're still botting a bit, dude. I'm, it might not display it. But hopefully, y'all can hear me. So, um, the first 45 minutes was... Uh, was great. Yeah, after that, you know what I'm saying, the cap down a little bit, then they ended very great. So I give them an A plus. Okay. A plus from, from Showstopper. A, okay. a from uh A from Mooch. Uh what about you, Wolf? <laughs> Yo, I was gonna give it a B plus okay. for the Scorpion announcement. Like I like the fact, you know, they showed gears, they showed scale bound. They had some support for Japanese game too, like which I didn't really expect. I saw the Tekken Seven there. Yeah. And they're giving away a free Tekken Tag tournament, you know, there and there. Uh, I like that they showed Final Fantasy Fifteen there. And then after that, 
you know, we, we saw games that we already know about. That's the thing. And yeah. because of that, and the Minecraft stuff, that really slowed things down, like the pace of it all. <laughs> And yeah, I was like, we were all like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, it, was really, it was really, yeah, exactly. It was really cringeworthy, man, all of that. Yeah. But then, you know, towards the end when they announced the Scorpio, um, my score just went up, you know. my, my Yeah, my final outcome came to the A. A, okay, um, good. Um, <laughs> Phoenix, Blazing Phoenix, what would you give it? Blaze, please. I really loved it. You know, when it first started with Gears, Gears was crazy. I liked the lightning and that saw blade gun. He was cutting people hand oh, with yeah. the saw. The Xbox uh, Slim looks amazing. I'm definitely going to pick that up, too. I like the Gears controller. I like the customizable controller, so I'm going to make a Keep It Xbox controller. Where you, get your, you get your name on it. Keep I It like Xbox it. controller. Yeah. I love it. I like oh, that. Yeah. And I'll recall it. Great. I'm going to buy that. Scalebound, for me, I think that stole a show. It looks incredible. Like yeah. Wolf said, that's the best Japanese game I've made. Fact. And when they got to the middle part, I was I started falling asleep because two of the Minecraft and all the <coughs> indie games saved that for Sony stage. So I was gonna give it a B, but then when they dropped the bomb with the Scorpio 4K gaming, I automatically gave it an A plus. That's it oh, yeah. with the Scorpio. I, 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 a plus. I 100% agree. I agree. Okay, and what about you, Next Gen? What What are you giving it? Uh, we we doing A B C D E F G? Yeah. One two three yeah. four five six seven eight nine ten. A B C D. All right. Um. I give it a A uh, okay. minus, I guess, um, uh, because like I said, my low point, of course, of the show, you know, is that Minecraft stuff and <laughs> the indie stuff. Like to me, that's again, they got, what I didn't like about the show is that they spent more time on that than they did the actual meat and potatoes, which is Gears, Forza, um, even Tekken. You know what I mean? I wouldn't mind seeing more multiplayer stuff and less of that stuff because again, I don't believe that um, belongs on the big stage. Yeah. Um, um, the of course the slim is nice. It's cute. Uh, maybe if you don't already, I'm sorry if you didn't already own an Xbox One, but I didn't know like they said crap that they were even upscale stuff to 4K. Yep, Mikey Barra Barra tweeted it out. Uh, upscales. It actually plays better because it's got that uh, dynamic whatever the hell it is. So HDR. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely buying one. Just, I mean, no, no, here's the thing. Now the whole HDR thing. I don't know if that's just exclusive to the. Xbox One S Slim, or is it, that going to be I think it is. it is. I think it is. Okay, it's, well, um, oh, cool. Okay, now with that, again, with that being said, so, um, but then, of course, like I said before, uh, what, and I've always said this, that they have to at least show something for the Scorpio. To let their fans know, to give us, to be able to pump our chest, you know what I mean? Sony came out and confirmed their Neo, cool. But Microsoft didn't confirm. It was all a bunch of rumors and speculations. Regardless of what you may have heard, I may have heard, but they came out and submitted the deal. And not only that, they said they have the world most powerful console, cool, yeah. and everything 4K gaming, you know what I mean? So, and that's something that Sony can do. So that's you know what? And, and, and let me just, something just came into my mind when you said that, Z, I want to reiterate. Now with the Neo coming out, and now the devs have gotten briefed, what, a few weeks ago, if not more than a month ago, on Scorpio. Um, now Scorpio's already, before, even if Neo comes out first, Scorpio's already going to be the, the lead platform, yeah, lead everything. platform, right? I mean, it, it just is going to be, it's as similar as you can get between uh, UWP and with the strength it's going to have, it's going to be the lead platform. I mean, you can already see the, the effects of what, and, and, let's, and people are writing all the time, why buy an Xbox One S? I'll tell you why. It's a true dedicated 4K Blu-ray player, just for number one. So Neo is going to come out. Neo is going to already be dead on day one. It's going to have a 4K <laughs> play, right? But the Xbox One S has already got the 4K player, and it's going to get outmanned within less than 12 months of its release. It's yeah. the Neo is an utter failure, and it didn't even hit the box yet. Time yeah. to hit that 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 hype train back. You know what I mean? Here, it just this just in too. It looks like Xbox Scorpio is probably going to support both Oculus and Vive yep. VR. Yep. So oh, I mean, oh, look, you, you can play wow. Play School. You can play Play School VR on PS4, or you can get some real VR. Which, let's be honest, if you are into that, I'm not. The, the real VR is going to be Vive and Oculus, right? Hey, Let's just oh, be honest. hey, this just in, guys. Kind of funny, Greg Miller. Uh -oh. uh, Microsoft hit a home run at Xbox E3 press conference we discuss on Kind of Funny Games. So exactly. here it is, guys. Let's turn the train around. Oh, <laughs> I think next generation is going to go right back to how it was with 360. Everybody going to be on Xbox again. That's what it it's going to be. Everybody coming home. Hey, the media can finally start to let go of that fucking 2013 bullshit. Yeah. Um, 
There's not going to be any kind of resolution stuff. All that negative perception's out the window now. This power talk is flushed down the toilet, man. Listen, I I think at the end of the day, um, regardless of whatever generation going forward, uh, when it comes to hardware, don't ever sacrifice. I mean, it should be like a a no-brainer now, but I think going forward, Microsoft finally gets it. Don't ever sacrifice the specs of your hardware to include a peripheral. I don't care what it is. You know what I mean? Don't ever do that because we've seen what happened with Nintendo with the Wii U. And, you know, Microsoft, like I said before, all of their wounds have been self-inflicted this generation. All of them. And the Kinect 2Z, man. man, All of their wounds. Now, listen here. But it'd be a good thing to know. Like I said, I hope. Well, I know that it is because people still going to be twitching and live streaming. It has to have a port for the, quote, unquote, the um, Kinect. You know what I mean? Going forward. I wish I would buy a new, more powerful Kinect. Now, for nothing, I got my more powerful console. Give me a better camera. I'm well, all the it, new the new Slim doesn't have a port for Connect. You have to get the adapter, which is free, I guess. Well, how the hell do you get the adapter? Um, I guess it comes free in there. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the case, as long as I have something, people like I said, people are going to Twitch, people are going to live stream, and that's Microsoft's camera. You know what I mean? And um, how much is a Connect now? A hundred bucks or one fifty? Oh, they could easily make a dubbed down version of it with like you know. I mean, just being real. I mean, it's. It's it's a, a last generation. It's gonna be a last generation perfect. So if the Kinect probably can probably be a hundred bucks, eighty bucks going forward with the Scorpio. You can you, you want to live stream, you want to Twitch, you want to you know live the YouTube, whatever the case may be. So the Kinect is still you know sell not for more or less gaming, but just for that you know upload studios and all that stuff like that. It's still a, a place for the market for it. Maybe in the future they can re-release it. Remember when 360 when the Connect first came out, they had a little showcase for it. Yes, maybe yes, like, yes, yes. Maybe two two years from now, maybe they can make an Xbox um, Connect for the um, Scorpio. And make I think they're going to use it. I don't think, and again, I don't think they're going to spend too much more money R and D with the first the Connect because yeah. we're all you know that motion control that thing then came and went. Yeah. Unless they're going to put out uh, what's that? What's that thing they they showed? How went the how it went? Um, the, the, game was, the game was all on the walls. What was that shit called again? The uh, Lumen room. Uh, room. room. Yeah, let's they go back to that. Now I still think that was epic. Like my God, I think it was too expensive though. Like for average consumers, maybe not. Maybe not. You know, next generation when they, when they ever start, maybe it may not be. Maybe the tech went down in price, but to me that was awesome. I would take that over VR any goddamn or VR AR. I thought that was good shit right there. Yeah. Here's the thing: you can probably trade in your Xbox One that you have now. And okay. get the slim for probably um, 150 bucks. Yeah, 150. Yeah. Because look, Somebody, hold on. You want me to? You know what I'll do? I'm gonna call. Should I call GameStop right now? See what the trade yes, is. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, should. Call, yeah, call, yeah. Call, Go call. ahead and do that, Mooch. I got it. I got um, it. Because look, they usually will offer deals and stuff like, hey, get an extra 50 bucks when you trade in towards a whatever. So you could probably technically <clears> get one for around 150 bucks or whatever. You know what I mean? Listen, I gotta say this right now. Make an announcement. We are. Hold up. We have more viewers than quote unquote um, than uh, Game Informer Live. Yeah. <laughs> well, well you, know, you know what's interesting? There was like over 750 watching us earlier. Now the Ubisoft press is on. Mm-hmm. Some people are kind of filtered now, but they just yeah. had some dancing on there or something. I don't know. It's weird. But they do got you guys. They do got that one Amazon looking chick that's looking pretty good. Oh, what, what? What is Ubisoft showing? Huh? Hi, I was wondering, uh, with the newly announced Xbox One S on the way, uh, can you tell me what the Xbox original, Xbox One is going to get for a trade-in? Mooch live on the air. Mm-hmm. This is live. <laughs> You're live. live yeah, I, I, I ask him, is, are, are they taking pre-order for the Scorpio, too? Are you taking pre-orders for the Scorpio yet? Nope. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> nope. How about the S? Trading for $100 store credit. $100? $100. Jesus. I knew it. I knew right. it. Right, I'm that's that's it. one terabyte or 500 gig? No, that's 500 gigabytes. One terabyte is 125. Oh. All right. All right. Well, uh, you put me down for two Scorpios and one S. I'll be in, in August. I'm like, I'm like, fucking with the prank call, the game <laughs> stop. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> not, really, not really a prank. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna. Um, I mean, that, that's actually a little short. I thought we were gonna hear 150. 150 uh, was the magic number. Hey, I thought they, they probably will when it's about to come out. 
right? I mean, so they'll probably do that like when it's about to come well, out. Well, that's uh, true, crap, because Microsoft, uh, I asked them, I said, is this always only a GameStop thing? They said it depends. Each each promotion's different. They said when Microsoft yeah. or Sony really want to push something, they throw us. So, like, if they accept your Xbox One, one terabyte, which was 125 Microsoft may say, from now on, we'll also kick GameStop back an extra 50 bucks. So yeah. the customer gets 175 well, well, you know, it's interesting because Microsoft has given a lot of people a reason to buy it now because there are a lot of games coming, um, and that's what they needed to do. Uh, it, it is risky announcing your next product, um, but it is, hey. you know, 16, 17 months out. Yeah. So, I mean, they had I don't know about you. I have a question, but I don't know about you guys, but I feel as though I got trolled when Phil was wearing the OG Xbox T-shirt and he had it on screen, but do you, do you feel as though you got trolled? Um... I, you know no. what? Honestly, I had my hopes up, man. No, no. To be honest with you, uh, Wolf. Even if they did allow those games to be backwards compatible on the um, the X, I wouldn't play them. This shit. You think it'll be on the Scorpio? We're gonna get OG. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna play that everything. stuff. That stuff looks like shit. I never had this whole thing when I was gonna do my. I was like, I bought. Well, what? They could upscale it though. You know what I'm saying? It's not even about the resolution. It's about the and, texture. And then have achievements on it and everything. Listen. I, when I was going to do this whole thing, I, I started this thing. I bought, bought me another OG Xbox. I said, you know what? I'm going to start live streaming to Twitch. I bought all this, spent about 150 bucks on all these wires and shit. I put in motherfucking Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat Deception. I said, what is this shit? This is well, I, I know for a fact, if, if they upscale 2K5, you're going to buy that bitch. No, no, I'm just saying. They, them games just look... I don't suffer from nostalgia. I can't I can't play the stuff I'm playing now and go back and like, shit, that Gears controller looks good. That's yeah, something that looks bad to me. Yeah, that Gears or, controller, that's... that's, that's, that's like, Mike is looking to talk about. That's, Microsoft but, does good stuff like that. Who's wearing that T-shirt, man. That must be some form of hint. That but what he's, no, what he's saying is that, you know, they're bridging the generations together. Yeah, you know what I mean, he, so, he was saying that it was built on having a, a powerful box, is what he yeah. said. If you like, listen to what he said. But wow, that fucking Gears controller looks sick. I you know what I like? You know what I like that Microsoft is doing? Like the same thing that they're doing with Surface, right? Like the reason why Surface are so good is because they're a high end product. They're a quality product. You look at that Elite yeah. controller. That's a quality product. Yeah. Um, they're they're giving you high end yeah. options. They they're doing a little bit of Apple. They're doing a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? Like. Um, with these high-end products, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's holy shit. It's really, really, really. I'm just like phenomenally impressed right now with what Microsoft's doing. Like yeah. I know I probably have like appeared to falter at times, but uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, fuck all y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, but honestly, man, who who couldn't have been happy? So yeah, I gave them an A as well. I would have given an A plus, but like you guys, I would have liked to see one surprise new IP. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was saying. That's one thing I said I, I will give Sony credit because we don't know if it's a God of War is coming. We don't know if a, a Last of Us 2 is coming. Everything that Microsoft... Well, we know those today, things are coming, but... I'm just saying, but everything that we, they showed today, we already seen before. You know what I mean? So the highlight of Microsoft show, to be honest, was the hardware, the new controllers, the S, and the Scorpio. You know what I mean? And of course, Gears of War, that looks phenomenal. You know what I mean? But we've always... I said maybe they're saving that stuff for Gamescom, they they said they had. Well, had, maybe even a dedicated to... Xbox event, you know, to mark the fifteenth year anniversary. They could have an event, you know. I don't just think so. I think again because unless it was going to be like something like what Sony has, you know, that, that yeah, was yeah, it. it'll be it'll oh, be like horrible. an anniversary event, like PSX. Yeah, that, that, that PS event was dog shit. They didn't show nothing but. Uh, no, NBA. dude, you're you're wrong. It's hit. They showed hit after <laughs> hit <laughs> after <laughs> hit you know after mean? hit. I mean, Look come like on. Shit. You know yeah, I mean, they, they, I think that I think that they were doing that. Um, I, I don't know. You know, it's very interesting what Sony will do. Like, I'm interested to see what they do because guess what? <laughs> Whatever they tricks they had up their sleeve, it's gone. um, they they better pull it out because they they're scrambling now. They scrambling. I don't know why. Like a, a lot of these Xbox games and all these things got leaked, right? Some of Xbox's E3 got leaked. Always gets leaked. Nothing for Sony got leaked. That's the thing. Do I, I just feel as though there's Neo some Sony insiders look, look working over there at Microsoft. Everything from Microsoft gets leaked. Everything. Everything. Here's the thing, dude. Look at the leaks. They all came from NeoGAF. Why? Because they want Microsoft to look bad. Yeah. So, they but do. They didn't, I mean, they didn't expect the Scorpio, though. They didn't expect that. No, 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 no. They didn't because they were like, oh, once they... Uh, you know, once they announce the the slim, that they won't they, they would shoot themselves in the foot if they announce Scorpio. But that's not how things work nowadays. I think that you know we're seeing something different. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens. 
Uh, hold on, Xbox One S supports UHD video, including Ultra HD Blu-ray, HDR for both gaming and videos. Yeah, that's wow. the uh, someone just texted or just um, tweeted me that. Yeah, so so the Slim is in fact slightly better hardware. Um, you know, I, I might get, I might pick me up one. Yeah, I'm definitely buy, I'm buying it. I'll pick buying it up. It's hard. Listen, I try to explain to people. A lot of people keep writing me. They're like, Mooch, I don't understand why. Why would you buy an S? I, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it first in the monetary term, and then we'll get into like the enjoyment of it. Monetary wise, whatever you have, we just called GameStop. You're going to get a hundred dollars for your day one. Let's just assume you have a day one, okay? Uh, Xbox One. You're going to get a hundred bucks for it. So if you go get a two ninety nine, you trade that in. You're at one ninety nine. You can go get a fifty or sixty dollar one or two terabyte Seagate, right, or Western Digital. So you can get that for the side and up your ante in that, and you'll have the latest and greatest. Plus, next year, if Most you say, well, I don't want to have that. Like, look, dude, I got like seven gigs worth of shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh, like, wait, wait, hold up. Z Hughes is talking shit already. He says, by the way, Sony conference would be ten times better than this. <laughs> I won't <wouldn't> leave it. <laughs> wow. Games. And game's not coming out for three years. Exposed. Fanboy. And that guy said he oh, wasn't a God. fanboy. Exposed. Yeah, he tried to say it was neutral, man. Someone has a, um, they have a, a close up of uh, the Gears of War Elite controller. It's nice. It has up for the frags, across for your other gun. You know, I mean, it has it labeled on the on the, the special D pad. He has, he has this a crimson nice. skull too on the left hand side. The crimson skull. Yeah, this yeah. is. Did you retweet it, Z? Huh? I retweeted it. Rod Ferguson tweeted it out. Tweeted what? I didn't Did see it. Tweet yeah, out the, a close up of the fucking controller. Yeah, like, I, I remember I kept saying, like, damn, that controller is nice before they even showed it was a leak. Like, God damn, that controller, that was talking so, about the burgundy. Uh, well, quick question, like the games like Gears 4, Scaleband, and Recall, are they DirectX 12 games built from the ground up? Uh, hey, check yeah. this out. This, this yeah. is a little bit of, of, of interesting news. Microsoft announced Halo Wars 2 at E3, but that's not the only surprise. Halo Wars um, fans. 343 announced on their Halo Waypoint article, if you pre-order Halo Wars 2, you will receive a copy of Halo Wars Definitive Edition. The Definitive Edition will feature improved graphics, additional achievements, and all the DLC. So um, you basically get... You get a remastered, Halo Wars remastered, basically for pre-order. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is an insane amount of money I'm gonna be spending. But I mean, I want that. I do want that Gears Elite. That thing's yeah, nasty. Fine. That's nice. Yes. I is that 200 that. bucks? I'm what sure it's. I'm sure it's not gonna. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to mooch that one. Uh, 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 that's straight up. Mean. That's gonna. That's legit. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna start using some of my content. Listen here. Let me unbox the goddamn control live on BGST. Come on, man. Let me get you guys some sales. <laughs> Come on. There you Come go. On. There you go. You do that Come right on. You listening? We always. We've been fighting the battle for you since the beginning. That's since what I'm talking about. We've been here. Yeah, yeah right. we should get. We should get all. We should be getting uh, Direct X show and BGST engraved Scorpios. That's, that's what, what I'm talking about. Death threats. They were sending us gay porn. This like, <laughs> <you should give laughs> us for real. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, someone just sent me fucking what this Z huge guy just said. Yeah, I told you. By no, the way, Sony's conference is ten credibility times. when he started blocking everybody because of a fucking symbol. Yeah, <laughs> he lost all credibility, man. Well, did he really have any? I mean, you know, like he tried to be act like he was an insider. Um, yeah, an insider, a neutral, or whatever. Um, you know, let's see. Yeah, I'm looking he at this. He lost his fucking mind, man. Yeah, I'm looking at the he, Xbox E3, and he have someone's posted the picture of the. Uh, the Scorpio's motherboard. It has that 4K chip in the GPU. It's awesome. Hey, shit, I already got 221 likes on this video. Make sure you guys all fucking thumb up this video. Yeah. Let's like, like, yeah. dude, like, fucking Xbox is taking back over, folks. The day of the Xbox yeah. 8 is over. Yeah. This, um, this, this I feel awesome. smart for Sony. They're going to get it next next generation. They're going to get the shit storm. Yeah, I mean, look, this shit's like, what are they showing on the Ubisoft thing? Is that Ghost Recon? Uh, I want Ghost Recon. The Ghost Recon I want. Actually, I'm yeah. not going to lie. The graphics on that look No, this is for the sale. I think it's Ghost Recon, dude. Let me see. Hold on, let me what see. are you guys watching it on Twitch? Twitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is Ghost Recon. This is Ghost Recon, yeah. It's Ghost Recon. So what could Sony do to win E3 possibly? That's the tons question. and what tons and tons of CJ, CGI trailers, and that's what you're going to get tonight, folks. You know what they're going to probably do? Um, honestly. You think they're going to do a 180 and announce the Neo? That's what I, I was wondering. Like, but but how can you announce it? How can you announce that if it's weaker? You know what I mean? Like, you is that really a big deal anymore? Sell, 
Yeah. I mean, I don't so do you think know, they're unless... saving the Neo for PSX or Paris Games? I think they should. No, they're gonna, they gotta probably bring it at the Gamescom because they have yeah. to still average. If consoles coming out in October. Do you, October. Do you guys think Sony knew Microsoft was gonna talk? They, I'm sure we all know yeah. that they knew. Yeah. Do you, yeah. you think yeah. they were gonna mention it? Yes. I don't. Yeah, I, I do. That's why they decided the last minute to talk about theirs. No, they knew. Yeah, they that, that pushed the brakes on that. They knew. They well, that's a good me. point. I mean, maybe Are you guys did, surprised maybe... they mentioned the teraflops? Microsoft. No. Well, listen, I was talking. Yeah, listen, I want to say this. When I was talking to Rand South and and uh, Tim Dog, I had mentioned about like different things and this and that. And I'm like, well, how come Xbox hasn't done this? And they're like, listen, Tim goes, I'll be honest with you, Xbox will not, or it might have been Southbound, will not. Xbox will never mention numbers unless they know they're on top. So the yeah. fact that they said that, Phil has to know more than we know. Okay, we well, all agree to that. Or what I heard, which was they they had a little bit more to play around with. Or oh, money wise, yeah. Really. No, no, no. As far as no. teraflops, because what I originally heard when all this Scorpio stuff leaked was they're gonna say six, but they have eight in case, just in case Sony does try to get cute. Right. So. <laughs> I, I just think it, it may be they may leave it that it can be upgradable or whatever the case may be. But oh, yeah, they, you know what it is? They doing they both doing business with AMD. You know what I mean? And they know that listen, what is your most powerful GPU? Whatever that can buy that you know that can put in this console and customize it. I can have this said, you know, this this uh pack on this car this on this card for how long? For three years or whatever the case may be. This is this is your top of the line. Hey, give me your, the less that money can buy. You know, that you know the competition can't, you know, but I I've also said they said when it comes to hardware, Microsoft won't be outgunned again, you know what I mean? Far as hey that. somebody somebody just asked this question in the chat. Um how long before you think they make Scorpio only games? I don't that's um, not, I don't think I don't think that's no. ever gonna happen because that's, yeah, no, go ahead, Z. I'm sorry. I was going to say, Phil Spencer I, I, made it very clear that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen again because of the your Windows Universal uh, yeah. UD, UDP or whatever the hell. There's, there's two people that work in my office. They're strictly PC guys. They've been that way. They, they don't have consoles. They just don't. That's not their thing. Their biggest thing was that I bought a game. They say this all the time. I bought a game 10 years ago. I still can play it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like That's the whole idea is that... Whether you want to upgrade, you know, crap, and we, we give you shit, and, and listen, we, 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 we only know you through the YouTube world, but we know you well enough. Uh, you know, we know that you're a gamer, and you're going to go pick something up, especially something that powerful. Uh, but these guys, we want to make sure that you buy a game, you don't feel like you've lost it when a new generation starts up, and that's what Phil's doing. He's taking care of it. Yeah, like, like, see, my, my thing, like I said earlier, was when, when, when Xbox One was announced, you knew you couldn't play Dead Rising. Right. Yeah. You couldn't play Forza Six Five on it. You couldn't play, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what the hell else on it? You know what I mean? So, so the reason why that's why you upgrade or whatever. Like, so, so you're afraid to buy stuff on 360, right? At that point, um, that's what my concern was about upgrading consoles. Is I don't want to buy Scalebound if there's going to be like I guess this eliminates the whole remastered situation too. Like. You're not gonna have to worry about that shit anymore because basically everything is gonna be included. I would assume that all first party stuff is gonna be Scorpio mode. Um, with that in mind, you know what I mean? Rod Ferguson already said they're gonna take advantage of Scorpio power, so I think that I think my, my thing with Scorpio though crap is gonna be this. I don't think that Microsoft is gonna make it as tacky as Sony with Neo mode. I think when you go to put the game in the game will realize with in, in translation with the software, it'll know what device, what hardware you have. It'll just up res it to your, your Scorpio, and if it's an Xbox One or an S, it'll play to that level. It's not like you have to turn it on and be like, no, I want the lower mode. No, no, no. It's either you're going to get score. It, it just knows, and, and that's something that's very easily done with uh, software these days. So I don't think you're going to have to go on and click on it. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think it'll be, you know what I mean? Do you think they're going to stop a uh, production of the day one Xbox once the Scorpio drops? So basically, oh God, those yeah. are already Xbox, done. No, 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 yeah, but the Xbox done. One S, the Xbox One S will be the entry level. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, you're going for I think that uh, I've said this before that the Xbox One. But it's a rebranding, right? It's a rebranding. Yeah, it's going to be. This is going to not going to be any more 360s. It's just going to be. Well, it's not more 360s now. This year, low end is going to be the uh, the Xbox Slim. That's it going forward. And then whatever iteration Microsoft has to come after that, it's just going to be the Xbox Thanks, One yeah. Slim. It's going to be entry level Xbox. And if I can go down to about 200 bucks, probably by the time the Scorpio comes out, um, and it's a win win for Microsoft. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the VCR box is no longer it's a wrap. No. Yeah, I think I think they're selling off stock on those now. That's why they had so many of the white ones. What's that? I said look at fine since the beginning. There's just a couple of Sony fans said they didn't like the shape of the Xbox, but you barely look at it. It's under your TV. Yeah. Well, I have there's this. a vertical stand, so you could stand this thing. It was, 
Yeah, it was that. bulky. They they addressed some of the things though. Like there's an internal power supply. That didn't um, bother me. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't bother me either because it just goes behind the entertainment center like everything else. So yeah. they're showing off. They're showing off the new South Park game, which I'm actually kind of pumped for. Who's oh, Ubisoft? Yeah. I know. You know, I never. Didn't that first one take one forever to come out? It did because it's because it was a THQ game. And then oh, okay. they closed down, and then it went to Ubisoft or whatever. But yeah, the game was phenomenal. Like it, it's backwards compatible on Xbox One as well, so that's also interesting. Um, as far as hey, I, just so everybody knows too, like I don't want to dig it in too much because it is a happy day for Xbox gamers. But uh, that Parasite Mr. X guy have been fully kind of. Uh, he wrote. He wrote. He did write. He said, "Well, he goes. I'll get ready to put on my." Uh, Put my screen up for the shit that's about to be thrown. He goes, I'm not. He he says he's done. He goes, I'm done with it. That's it. He goes, I wave my hands in the air. He goes, the guy, he, the, the the person he supposedly had as his insider won't reply back to him anymore. He's like, that's it. I'm done. He goes, I'll take all the shit. He goes, hit me with all the shit you want. He goes, I deserve it. <laughs> I said, I said it's probably X, inside of Parasite X. Parasite, Parasite. He said, he said, go ahead. He goes, throw the shit. I don't give a shit anymore. He's like, I. He goes, I put my hands in the air. He goes, the guy who I. He goes, the guy I've been talking to. Now he won't respond to me. He goes, so you know. He goes, it is what it is. He goes, I guess I got to take my shit now. So he's yeah. ready for you guys to throw it at him. I did. You know, basically, I was done. Um, I said that there's no way to get all that hardware that he was talking about with a simple update, and I was right. And I said that they couldn't do VR on the Xbox One currently, and I was right. You know what I mean? Look, if you want to do VR, you got to do it to where you could do a full experience, and that would be like Vive and Oculus, um, not PlayStation VR. It looks like PlayStation One games and shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm not interested in that stuff. But if you were, you want to? Those are the two that you would get. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how it is. Not, not PlayStation VR. So it's really like Microsoft is uh, really man. They've gone all out. You're going to be able to get everything in a box. Is probably going to be. Four fifty to five hundred bucks, you know what I mean? Like that to me is phenomenal. Yeah, you know, absolutely phenomenal. And why would you get a PlayStation Four Neo and PlayStation VR for over a thousand dollars when you could get an Xbox Scorpio with Oculus for the same price? Yeah, and more power. And more power, yes. Because guess what? Six is more than four, guys. Simple math. Yeah, but Sony and don't think I'm gonna not gonna fucking like. Rub that shit in nonstop. I mean, seriously, like you guys think I was bad before out there watching. <laughs> no, seriously, they thought I was bad before. I'm, I'm all over, man. It's, it's done. Like all those motherfuckers that were hating on Xbox, it's over. Your guys' time is over. That PlayStation fanboy nonsense, where all the Xbox fans were huddled in masses, or what? What are they? The fucking um, refugees. Guess what? The refugees are about to outnumber the fucking uh, guards and shit. So yeah, go fuck yourself. Who wanted Matata? It's <laughs> on. <laughs> It's on Xbox. It Kumbai, hey, it's it's Kumbai, nonstop, Kumbai. man. It's nonstop, man. It's gonna be nonstop. So I Could think you guys just talk about games with the company. No, fuck that. Oh, okay, yeah, like just. Talk... Gonna do work. Gonna do work. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, hey, guys, that. just talk about games, guys, or ecosystem, man. Yeah, let's talk so about how long, how long is Sony's E? How long is Sony's E free? Like ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. Hour and a half. So you can get about. Year, I, I swear, last year they went like two hours straight. No, they they only they only allotted ninety minutes. So yeah, so you and they got know. guess what they got to show some of that for VR. Yeah. yeah, a lot of that's another thing. Like I said, well, to me those indies doesn't show show well on stage. VR to me doesn't show well on stage either. So, um, but and they, they got to show Call of Duty. They have to show the Destiny. Yeah, mm-hmm. they got a lot yeah, of third yeah. party. Titan yeah, Ball. Time Fall Two, maybe even Mass Effect. Well, well, Mass Effect show well, at yesterday at E3's, um, I'm sorry, at uh, at uh, EA's uh, thing. EA Play, yeah. When is when is um, Mass Effect come out? They haven't even confirmed anything. They didn't, you know what, dude? They didn't even show gameplay yesterday for that, oh, right? Oh wow, Jesus! Okay. Little yeah, snippets. So. That was it. How yeah, far like, did that goddamn game off? It was supposed to come out this year. Now they're saying early next year, but I doubt it. Um, my guess would be holiday next year. Yeah, it's quite yeah. possible. Yeah. Isn't that something, man? Can you guys? I mean, I'll be honest with you. One thing I am shocked about. I am shocked that uh, Titanfall Two is uh, Sony. Yeah, if I'm it was shocked. Microsoft, that would have been at their conference. Look, let me let me let me throw this worst case scenario out for you as Xbox. Fans. Um, what if uh, what if they do red? They have Red Dead Redemption Two at e, at Sony's conference. Uh, Titanfall Two. Uh, you know what I mean? They show off the last of this little trailer. 
Can I tell you what? In the first two scenarios, I'll be playing them on my Xbox S. True. And, exactly. Uh, then up it into Scorpio next year. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, that's true. No, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm being a bit of a wise answer, but I mean, no, to answer your question, crap, is I think, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong. You guys tell me if I'm wrong. At this point in the juncture of this generation and where we see things are moving forward, I'm at the point right now where I don't give a shit if Microsoft or Sony decided to throw 10, 15, 20, or $50 million for marketing rights. At this point, we know what sells, right? We, we know what sells, and we're going to see something happen drastic. I wonder what's going to happen this upcoming fall with the new Model S, which people are only going to know that it's new. They're going to know that it has Blu-ray support, right? The PlayStation PS4 does not have blue, uh, 4K possibilities. Uh, you're gonna, the Neo is going to cost way more than a, an S, for the, for the media player portion, I think you're going to see the transition, plus the power conversation is now in Microsoft's camp. I think it's not going to matter anymore. Yes, Star Wars was an anomaly last year, okay, people? So don't throw a Star Wars Battlefront in my face. You put Star Wars on the worst-tasting generic cereal, and that cereal sells. Yeah, like, but don't, don't, you think, hey. don't you think you get cool custom consoles with this S yeah. that you have right now? I don't yeah, know I mean, if they're going to do that. I mean, they, they didn't I'm they sure certainly it show it. custom with that S. I, I hope that they could put the put a, a custom on there. I think that that would be interesting. But, um, I, you know what? I'm just thinking, man. Like, Battlefront Two is gonna look really good on that Scorpio, guys. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> good, man. Graphics, graphics, graphics. Yeah. So with that Call of Duty and Destiny, man, it'll look better on the fucking Scorpio. Do you yeah. think they're gonna yes, go? Sir. Do you think they're gonna get? Uh, be able to get. You think they're going to do a lot more third-party stuff now? I mean, people are going to flock back to Xbox, obviously, but yeah, I would imagine so. I mean, once we get the hardware out of there, I just hope they don't scale back on the on the exclusive stuff again and just slowly re- rely on, you know, th- Duty and Gears, Halo, and, and and you know stuff like that again. You yeah. Know, hey, hey, just FYI for anyone wondering, the the, the Xbox One Slim, it's two ninety nine for the five hundred gig. Three forty nine for the one terabyte and three ninety nine for the two terabyte. Mm-hmm. Um, and those come with controllers. There's a lot of people going around saying you don't get a controller. Have you realized though? It's actually white, just like the three sixty was. Yeah, they tried to yeah. do that. I think it's very kind of cool. They're trying they to cater to the Japanese, I think. They like small consoles and they like them white. So I yeah. think that's what they're trying to do. I'm pretty well, sure. Well, go ahead, crap. I was gonna say. Um, well, if you're a big Gears fan like me, uh, what is your thoughts on being able to play as Rom in uh, Killer Instinct, and then I mean, and then also like the Gears Four stuff? Like I was Man, that, that weather that, and that, stuff, that, right? That, that that Rom, like we knew it was coming anyway because of the leaks yeah. a few months back. But like seeing it in full motion, man, it fucking really blew my mind, man. Like that'll probably be my main character, and you know, Ki, I play that quite a lot. You know, since I don't have an Xbox, I've been playing Marvel vs. Capcom. Are you gonna phone. get an Xbox now? I'm going to get that slim. Okay, so you're going to wait. You're going to 360 it up all the way to August? Well, it was a month and a half. It ain't going to be that long. Was it yeah. end of August or middle of August? I 22nd. Oh, okay. 22nd. August 22nd. Towards, towards the last week of August. I guess I could stick it out, man. But like, either way, though, man, that, that Gears of War 4 gameplay with like you know the weather and everything like that, yeah. the storm... It was it was fucking amazing. It blew my and fucking Horde, mind. Horde 3. And Horde 3.0. And Marcus Phoenix towards the end. He's yeah, he's, he's alive cool. and well, man. What do you guys think about them not mentioning the memory or amount of memory in the Scorpio? Um, I don't I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I, at the end of the day I don't think they had to doubt uh, down, dive too much into specs. You know, not to, to show the whole card and yeah, the show hand. Uh, I agree. All they had to just announce that you know, hey, we got you know the Neo's coming out this year. Cool. But we got something that's going to trump that shit, guys, next year. The most powerful console ever. Native. I like how they just kept nailing on the fact. Native 4K gaming. I, I realized Phil was saying it. Native. Like, you yeah. kept uttering those words. Native. Yeah, he has yeah. to. He's got to say everything exactly what the media wants to hear. Otherwise, you're going to be like, did anybody hear him say native? I'm not really sure, Destin Logary. Put your controller down. You're dual shock. <laughs> I... Uh, you know, they, you have to say everything verbatim. Oh. Uh, he he specifically said native. He specifically said six teraflops. I mean, when has any conference at E3 ever mentioned teraflops? And now we're talking <laughs> about it, right? Yeah, that it's is crazy. Weird. Because they read Twitter all the time. They read the articles 24-7. Yeah. That's why they have yeah, to Yeah, ab- absolutely. And, and crap, that just goes one step further from weeks ago when we were all talking. That's power is everything. You've got Phil Spencer in front of millions of people talking teraflops. <laughs> crazy. 
<laughs> right? You know, yeah, it is. It is sad that we have to do that, but you know what? I think that for the most part, like, it really resonates. How many people, no matter if they're going to put on that facade that they don't care, that they still love their PlayStation, they're already lining up to get Scorpio. They are. Right. They just... They they're going to look. Uh, who's some of the biggest ponies you guys know? They're gonna get they're gonna get Scorpio, because guess what? The best multiplats are gonna be in Scorpio. The best online Scorpio. The best controller. Uh, you know what? The good thing is like, look, you can get that new two hundred dollar controller, and that's gonna work on Scorpio. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what you get, everything's gonna work fine on this new console, and that's like the really good kind of brilliant part of what they're doing. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. That South Park game looks pretty fucking funny. <laughs> I like it. I'm just saying. Yeah, because Sony didn't have anything but power. All their games to generate were real horrible. They were really bad exclusive. So now yeah. they don't have He's power. Right. Have. But, well, what, no, but what does Sony have this holiday season? What do they have this fall? Gran Turismo it's, Sport. It seems oh, pretty dry oh, on there, yeah, though, man. Hey, Gran Turismo Sport, man. Because yeah. most of the games that we saw today on Microsoft stage, they're coming this year. Like, what do Sony have that it could say is coming this year? Besides Gran Turismo, um, what, what else they got? Horizons well, delayed, Zero Dawn, that's delayed. Hmm. Well, I mean, they got some smaller titles, I think, don't they? Hey, uh, have, you, have you guys downloaded? I hate to interrupt. Have you guys downloaded the new Xbox app for your Android or yeah. iOS? I, I don't have. I don't phone. have Android or iOS. Oh, crap! I'm telling you right now, this they just this just launched because Mike Ibarra was like, make sure you got your new Xbox app updated. I just updated Do you it. You think they updated it Holy to the shit. Windows Phone? <laughs> I don't know. I know it's what beautiful on my. It's beautiful on my iPhone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be shitty if they didn't fucking update that? Look at they moved they moved messages right to the top. They got notifications right to the top. Friends right to the top. It's amazing. And in in the the activity feed that looks just like your Xbox One is my entire screen on my six uh, my iPhone six. It's fantastic. Hey, hey, any of you guys in the chat box? Are you guys um still gonna get PlayStation or are you guys switching to Scorpio? Nobody buying that trash. <laughs> 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 hey, I agree. Like, look, hey, I, I'm gonna, you know, you know what this, like, this, the way this generation has done to me, what what is done, and 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 you guys can let me know if you think this way too, right? With the PS3 and 360, that was a really elongated generation, so it made sense to get every console, right? I played the PS3 for exclusives; they had a lot of them, um, you know what I mean. But I played multiplats and the exclusives on the 360, and yeah. I had a Wii too. Well, rem you know? Remember one thing though: it's it's not really how hard your first punch is; it's about how hard your last punch is. Now, yeah. Sony's first punches were pretty hard, but like Sony came out with a hay. I mean, Microsoft came out with that haymaker and this destroyed Sony completely. Yeah, I, I agree right. with that. But, I mean, look, I'm not going to get another PlayStation. Like, that, I'm done after the PlayStation I'm not, 4. Yeah, I'm not getting a Neo. I mean, if they have yeah. what you want to call a PS5 in three years, I mean, I can't... I'm not going to speak for me three years from now, but, I, I mean, I could see myself getting their next generation, which games. would be their competition with Scorpio. Right, and, and they also have to prove themselves. That's right, Phoenix. I mean, I'm not going to... Yeah. yeah. I saw someone in the chat box saying that... Um, the Last of Us 2 is going to win Sony E3 and Crash oh, Bandicoot. Man. Well, Crash Bandicoot is our, is going to be in Skylanders, so congrats, I, I think, guess. I think The Last of Us is a very over overhyped game. It Listen, The Last of Us is fine and dandy, yeah. but to show a game that's going to come out in 2020 and start ranting and raving about it, Listen, every you're trying to tell me that PlayStation and Sony didn't know. Did they know that the PS4 was coming out in 2013? I'm pretty sure they had an idea, right? Well, why did it take their flagship franchise all the way to 2016 to come out? And that's the same company that just finished going gold a few months ago. They're not that. I mean, they're big, but they're not like three, four divisions big like three, four, three. So they even if they got half their crew started, you're talking about Uncharted 4 probably started sometime around 2012. And it took four years. So we'll see you guys in 2020. There's no, I mean, come on. And think about Kojima's game. You're not going to see that to 2022, probably. Kojima's Kojima's game should come with a fucking a, a, a bottle of Vibrant and a free Mountain Dew. Those games put me to sleep. Yeah. Who the hell's got that kind of stealth time? And you just get done with a fucking 12-hour day of work. You got kids, family, mow the lawn, come home. I'm going to sneak around in a fucking cardboard box and snap one. <laughs> it's just insane. It's insane. He's washed up. He only got what he got in his last uh, credit through Metal Gear Solid Five because it was a signing off party. You know, what I mean. So, so real quick, I mean, do you guys think Microsoft did what they had to do? They they had a very clear, yes. a very clear and concise message. Like even Major Nelson tweeted out, "You don't know what HDR is. Here's the Wikipedia." You know what I mean? Like right. they're very Ooh. kind of 
you know what I mean? Like, just trying to get people to understand what's going on. It's not like with the Xbox One where they're just throwing everybody to the wolves. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you don't know what HDR is? Here's the Wikipedia page. Let me help you out here. You know, and then you have Phil Spencer talking about teraflops. You know what I mean? That's Which is very interesting as well. Um, what do you guys think of people that are going to be like, there's no exclusives anymore? I mean, what what are you going to say to that, guys? No exclusives? I mean, um... Well, what did we see at E3? Like, nothing but exclusives. Microsoft exclusives. They are. They, they're True. not appearing on Steam. True. They're Microsoft games. Oh, that's you're just talking fanboy. about that PC stuff. PC. Right? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. It's just, it's just, that's just fanboy shit. They're Microsoft games, man. I, I agree. Nintendo put Super Smash Bros. on the DS, and they had it on the Wii U. So that's not an exclusive. Because they put it on their DS, it's the same thing. If Sony had the same thing Microsoft has now, they would do the same thing. They would put it on the PC too, but they can't afford this. That's I the guess, thing. I guess if it was on Steam, then you could say it's not really exclusive, but because it's still on the ecosystem and you still get the achievements on PC, it's still exclusive, man. I don't know. Like I still consider it exclusive. Like To me, if you you have to use Windows pretty much, though. Like They don't really do... Um, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, like, look, Ori, right? That's on Steam, but I, I st- Microsoft like owns that IP, so yeah. But, we, but Windows 10 weren't ready that time when. Yeah, Ori. I mean, you're gonna see them push more all this stuff on Windows, obviously. Like everything's look for all this stuff that's cross buy and cross play. It has to be Windows, right? They, I don't think they're gonna want to fuck with like Steam and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Like. No. Um, no, no. The games could get pirated though. That's the thing. If it's on Steam, so. They want to yeah, stay they, get, they get fucking pirated anyway, but I, you know, to me, I just, I hope they have all that stuff figured out. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting. Um, what time is Sony's show? Nine. Nine o'clock. Uh, it's a few hours from now. Yeah. yeah. Nine o'clock our time Eastern. Yeah, nine. I think nine Eastern. Um, it's six yeah. o'clock here time, nine our time. So we'll be we coming back at what? Uh, nine. Hold like, on. Yeah. We got we got you know, that, that gears of war. That gears of war. Uh, Elite controller is a uh, is two two bills, yo. That's two hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. that's a little steep. Why two hundred dollars? I said it was two hundred. <laughs> you did, yeah. But I I thought I thought you were crazy. No. Yeah, but why is it two hundred dollars? <laughs> Apparently, you weren't crazy. They're crazy. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. a lot. I don't know. But why is it two hundred dollars? I don't know. I mean, it costs. Well, is it something uh, besides the color that that the the come on, don't fucking Joe is my fucking Microsoft. Let's write that shit now. It's, it's fucking the, 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 um, I think it's more of a collector's item. That's why, man. But come on, give me a, a fucking color. Money. Like, come on, if the other one is cost one fifty, that thing should be one hundred and fifty fucking dollars, man. I agree. Don't don't do it like that. Don't 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 sh- don't take advantage of your loyal consumers here. You know what I mean? About pistol whipping us with the fuck yeah, with a wallet. Stop it. They know you gonna buy it. I okay, mean, I don't know. I mean, geez, Jesus, man. State Lord. of State of Decay Two is gonna be like it's it's a full on sequel using Unreal Engine Four. Um, Shit. it's gonna be it's fully cooperative gameplay. Okay, I so it's an MMO, right? You're saying like it's not. I think that it's just a. This just says it's a it's a full on sequel, with cooperative multiplayer. All right. But, but I'm here. I'm reading now about the controller. It has uh approved thumbsticks. I'm just not off the thumbsticks before, and uh, Bluetooth enabled. So we better I guess hook our Bluetooth headsets up to the uh, controller. Yeah. Hey, you you can work closely with up to three other people to build lasting communities and put your survival plan to the test. Uh, As with the original um, game, your choices shape an interconnected world and form a unique experience every time you play. Along with friends, dynamic game systems for character progression, base building, leadership promotion, and consequence-driven storytelling with a um, result in a dramatic experience. So Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of like in... Cooperative MMO type. Hey crap! Experience. Yeah. I don't know if you. I don't know if you were planning to wrap it. I do have to get going. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to just pull a Chanel. Yeah. I'm gonna do a pop on the air, What time? What shit. time? What time are you gonna? Um. What uh, I think we're. Gonna we, I think we're aiming for eight, but I would just tell the audience, uh, and we'll so advertise between eight. Well, no, between eight and eight fifty. Because listen, let's be honest. I mean. I don't really want to talk about Danger Ball for 45 minutes. Okay, whatever, so, whatever Trevor. You, I think we'll do know. like because if it starts at nine, and they always run late. Where, 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 I mean, where they, they always start late. But make make the room around 7:45 so we can get there and. Yeah, yeah, I can it. do that. 
I can All do right, that. No problem. No problem. Okay. All right, so 7.45, the room will be ready, but I would say that we'll get the audience in there starting at 8 o'clock, 8.15. Yeah, on Mooch's channel, we will definitely be doing Good that. So. And we will uh, – man, what a fucking great day, man. Go get some food. Go celebrate, Xbox fans. You guys got the win. That's uh, right. All downhill from here. So rack them up. We'll catch you later. Thanks, uh, uh, Blazing Phoenix and Wolf, for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you guys later, man. Keep it. Peace, guys. Peace.